James Hogg's book, The Private Memoirs and Confessions of a Justified Sinner, often quotes the Bible. And much like the book of Revelation in the King James Bible, the memoir in Hogg's book also ends with a warning to those who dare alter its words. Yet Hogg's book parodies the form of the Bible in other ways, particularly the schemes of words and numbers in the Revelation. The first English translation of the Bible, with numbered chapters and verses, was the Geneva Bible, printed in 1560. It was produced by William Willingham and several collaborators, who didn't just number verses of the Bible willy-nilly. Instead, they created an illusion of supernatural design using correlations between words and numbers, which later became part of other versions, including the King James Bible. For example, in the book of Revelation, the word 12 first occurs at chapter 7, verse 5. Indeed, 7 plus 5 equals 12. And the word 12 is repeated 12 times in 12 consecutive sentences. These span four verses, each with three sentences, and also bear a likeness to the number 12. And the word 12 does not occur again until precisely chapter 12, verse 1. And coincidentally, or not, the word 12 does not occur until chapter 22, verse 2, where 22 plus 2 equals 24, and 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Granted, this may seem like a leap of faith or a stretch of math. However, chapter 22, verse 2, depicts the tree of life divided on either side of the river, and it is by division that the tree of life bears 12 manner of fruits every month, or in other words, 12 different fruits 12 times a year. And much like the schemes of words and numbers in the Bible, there are correlations hidden in the original edition of the private memoirs and confessions of a justified sinner and entail practically every page. Some are elaborately disguised, while others are more obvious, such as the correlations on page 17, which incidentally also involve the number 12. Yet what seems like mistaken math may have more to do with mistaken faith and the bedeviling correlations between words and numbers. But you won't discover clues to Hogg's ingenious schemes unless you read the book in its original form. <laughs>